Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another exclusive Bitcoin Daily Q&A with you guys, our followers. I am Bitcoin J, and today uh, we're doing exactly what we just said. Uh, we're doing a Q&A. Uh, yesterday we posted up, um, we told you guys that if you guys wanted to be featured in today's video, drop some questions and we would answer some of them. Um, so we, we picked out uh, we had the team pick out some questions and that's what I'm gonna do today. We're gonna go over what you guys asked uh, We're gonna shout you guys out and answer these questions man as best to the best of my ability You know, I don't got all the answers, but you know um, I can answer some stuff and if I don't know then you know, I'll just make something up anyways Y'all won't know any difference. So <laughs> I'm just playing. All right, man. Let's just jump right into it uh, I'm excited today, man. I just drank some coffee, so I'm ready to go. All right, so Ben Robinson, 217, he asked, well, let's first, first say what's up to Ben. Ben, we appreciate you, man. I see you taking that selfie in the, it looks like a bathroom mirror there with a nice little fade. Okay, I see you, boy. I see you. All right, he asked, Ben says, uh, how do I make my Bitcoin my own? I currently have it held in Coinbase. Um, if you have it held in Coinbase, then, then that means that you have it in a Coinbase wallet. So it's already your own. You already own that um, that Bitcoin. Make sure my mic's not muted. Okay. If not, I would have to start over. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's already your own, man. Um, you know, now it's up to you if you want to keep it in your Coinbase wallet or if you want to, you know, uh, use a wallet that's offline, you know, a hard wallet. Um it's up to you man but the uh, the bitcoin is already your own all right so cuz you it is in your private wallet on coinbase okay so appreciate you ben uh next question let's see what we got gasper cousins or cousins i don't know um look at look at gasper right here looks like his wife or girlfriend over here okay thank you for the question we appreciate you um so he asked what do you think about tesla oh man tesla i love tesla man tesla's made me a lot of money to be honest with you man um tesla the last year yeah this year um made me a lot of money so i gotta say that i love tesla however it is in a correction right now which i mean was expected right uh tesla went fucking insane let's let's see if, we, if i can pull it up here real quick you guys see this yep okay so yeah so we're looking here on the daily chart as you guys can see like tesla just like took off man it took off dude um and when uh the split happened i think the price was around 440 ish um, and it just took off to 500 as you see 500 remember what we in a previous video yesterday when when we spoke about support and resistance levels and the psychological resistance round numbers all that uh, 500 is one of those numbers so this is where everybody looks like everybody took profit boom it shot Tesla way down here um, which is right here it was a resistance so 340 area See how it was a pre it was previously a resistance zone back here. Um, look at look at this. This is March from the past. This is where I had put a, a buy zone. So this was like the 200, 180 to 200 dollar range was my buy zone where I entered Tesla originally back back in the days. When I say back in the days, it was like a few months ago. Um, but uh, but yeah, man. So it's at like 340, which was a previous uh. Wait, let me see. Where was it? Yeah, so 340-ish, which is this right here. If you look back, this was a previous um, resistance, which after the breakout is where it took off. Um, and looks like we tested this yesterday and bounced right off of it. So, and today we had a small little gap up here. Um, or was that yesterday? Uh, yeah, so we had some sort of little gap up there. Um, but yeah, currently we're at, it's trading at 382. Uh, it, it'll, it'll be fine, man. Uh, I'm still in this long term. Uh, it'll definitely get back up to 500, I believe. 
Uh, at 500, you should definitely be taking profits though, because you don't know what's going to happen there. If it breaks out above that though, it could keep going. Um, but safe to the safest place to take profits as it gets close to 500, then enter like a breakout, like above 505 or something. Um, you know, above somewhere above 500, enter if you want to enter above 500. If there's a breakout, then you can enter again. Um, but yeah, you should definitely be taking profits here. You see this line right here? This is like the three. 387 so that's a resistance there see it was resistance back here um so uh above this i guess uh, if you want to enter today it would be above the high of the day which is 400 so above 400 is a breakout entry um and then your targets are, are basically is going to be even numbers 420 um 440 450 460 and then 500 the, the major resistance up here um but yeah man that's that's what i think about tesla thank you for the question um gasper appreciate you man uh next david smith 1525 look at david here with his baby and, and his backpack he's just carrying him around like it's all good i don't know what what are you doing and I see is that snow I'm not sure man but he got a uh, he got his baby in his backpack so it looks like he's having a great time great old time over there David appreciate your uh, your question man uh, favorite altcoin for the long term um, honestly man like I know this is probably gonna be a disappointing answer because people want me to say like some something that's super popular or uh, like not popular but something that's like being hyped right now or something you know whatever the new trend is but uh man i like to stick to my guns um i've always said this i stick to the gun to my guns so i stick to to stuff uh to the next biggest you know um coin man and which is ethereum i know that's not the sexy answer but that's my answer man uh ethereum is a great investment at 368 it's gonna you you guys know that it was it was around 450 before um, look at this it was around 480 it hit almost 500 um, we are if you guys saw the review from yesterday we are in a currently in a bear flag but I mean we could break out of this and, and just return back to to the, these highs um, you know I'm invested in ethereum long term on this dip I'm buying more if it dips more I'm buying more so uh, this is a time to buy when there's dips, not when there's highs. Um, but yeah, man, with the whole uh, DeFi movement and all that, DeFi, you know, uh, it is a great investment. I'm big on Ethereum. So that is my favorite altcoin long term, for sure. It's going to go over a thousand again, like it did before in 2017-18. All right, David, thank you, man. Appreciate the question. Let me make sure everything's still good on over here. All right, next question. Oh, man. Oh, man, you guys testing me with these names. <sighs> All right. Let me... Uh, let's see if I can say this. Mama, Mama, Mamad, 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 Muhammad. <laughs> is, is, this, is this short for Muhammad? It might be short for Muhammad, right? I don't know. Uh, either Mohammed or Mohammed. M. Hamid. Uh, Najarin. 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 One of those, right? Hopefully, I didn't butcher it too bad. Um, you have a nice, some nice doors there, man, with nice little Art Deco style colors over here. Okay, <laughs> Mohammed or Mohammed. Um, so he says, how much you think BTC will be on the next halving? Man, the next halving is about four years away, my dude. Um, I can't tell you that, man, because if I, if I said something, it's going to be, I'm going to just be making up a number in my head uh, out of thin air, you know, uh, and it's going to be based on really nothing. Um, so I definitely do expect Bitcoin to go up over the next few years. Uh, I, I can't predict the price. Uh, hopefully we're over that 20k barrier though. That's what I'm hoping for. Appreciate your question, man. Next one, uh, absolutely loving it. He says he has a uh, Winnie the Pooh here, sleepy Winnie the Pooh. Okay, that's old school right there. So I know you got to be at least over 30. 
if you got some Winnie the Pooh or you got kids. I don't know, but I don't, I don't think kids nowadays watch Winnie the Pooh. All right, anyways, uh, thoughts, predictions on Neo. All right, so uh, Neo, man, I've been in Neo since I can remember, since before it was Neo. I don't even remember what it was called before. It had some other name, and I remember I I traded it. I used to trade it a lot, and it, it actually went up really high. Um, but right now, as you can see, it is a very low price point. Um, it went up to its high, $22, $23. Looks like it got rejected up here. Um, yeah, that $20 range. And then we dropped now with the Bitcoin drop. You know, everything's kind of correlated with Bitcoin. So we're showing a little, a small little bear flag here, which is down, boom, a little triangle there. Uh, we have, we have this moving day average here with, this is a, <laughs> A 20 day moving average, excuse me guys. Uh, 20 day moving average is playing resistance right now. Then we also have the 1850 number that's a, that's gonna be a resistance. Um, but we do have $18 support probably around here as well as 1750 and 17. So, um, so I mean, we need to, the, the whole thing with the altcoins right now guys, it's following Bitcoin. So it's all going to depend on, you know, on Bitcoin. Um, that's how they're going to move. So if we keep, if Bitcoin keeps consolidating, it might also keep consolidating. It could move higher. Um, but if Bitcoin moves lower, it's going to move lower. If Bitcoin moves higher, it's probably going to move higher. So right now, everything is just following uh, Bitcoin. So that's the main thing you got to watch. But I like Ethereum overall. I mean, not Ethereum. I'm sorry. I already told you I like Ethereum. I like Neo overall. Good investment. Uh, it's a cool. Yeah, it's it's a cool coin to be in, um, and it's been you know going up from down here the ten dollar range. Um, so yeah, man. Uh, it's a it's a good buy. I would I would either try to get down to to a sixteen to fifteen dollar range to enter, which is a it's a support down here or um, I look to enter on a breakout above probably like 18 19 dollars yeah um, that's pretty much it for Neo guys everything else is, it's just kind of following it's gonna be correlated with uh, with Bitcoin appreciate your uh, your question absolutely all right uh, Nick Snyder okay Nick Nick seems like a soccer player Nick the soccer player I see you my guy um, Nick says why would I use leverage to Bitcoin trade so um, so this goes back to uh, we made a video on using leverage and how to use leverage and why you would use leverage so I would I would recommend you checking out our channel look for that video uh, basically leverage is uh, you're using less you're risking less money to trade more money if that makes sense so your profits are gonna be higher um, and you don't you don't need to put that money up front so it's like uh, if if you're buying a house a house that's a hundred thousand dollars right um, let's say you have a hundred thousand dollars and the house costs a hundred thousand dollars now you could either a use the hundred thousand dollars and just buy the house up front and that's it you're done you know you have a house or you can leverage your hundred thousand dollars by using a bank to give you the majority of the hundred thousand so kind of like getting a loan so let's say you take that same hundred thousand dollars and instead of just buying a house that one house with a hundred thousand dollars you're gonna you split it into four so you use twenty five thousand dollars as a down payment for that hundred thousand dollar house and the bank pays seventy five thousand right they give you seventy five so you have that one house and I still have seventy five thousand so you could now do the same thing three more times you could buy in total four different houses you all you're doing is putting a twenty five thousand dollar down payments on the house which is twenty five percent um and you're getting you're getting to own each house uh because the bank is covering the rest now of course you have to pay the bank back but what what you don't pay the bank 
back on is if the house, if the value of that house goes from $100,000 to $150,000, you just made $50,000 profit because now the, the value of the house is $150,000, but you only owe the bank $75,000. You know what I'm saying? So now you owe, now you basically uh, doubled your money there. So that's why you use leverage. And if it, that happens to every single house, for, to the four houses that you bought, that's 50, 100, 100 uh, 150, 200. You just made $250,000 and you owe less than that. You owe 75 per house. You know what I mean? You made $50,000 profit per house and you only owe 75 per house. So that's why you use leverage because the same idea goes into trading uh trading with leverage i i want to trade bitcoin but i don't want to have to put up a full bitcoin if i want to buy a full bitcoin i rather just use uh you know a small part of my capital to buy that one bitcoin and now use another small part to buy a second bitcoin and so forth so now the price of bitcoin if i pay 25 a percent of of a Bitcoin so let's say a uh, Bitcoin's at 10,000 flat and I buy it I put 2,500 I put 2,500 I enter a, a long trade right uh, but I only put 2,500 down on my own from my own now uh, when Bitcoin goes up to 11,000 I made a thousand dollars profit only even though I only put in 2,500 so now once I sell the entire position now I'm at 3,500 does that make sense Hopefully that makes sense for you guys. Uh, I try to explain it as simple as possible with a, with a pretty straightforward analogy. But uh, thank you for your question, Nick. I hope uh, that made sense. If you have any questions about it, just let me know. And also watch the video that we made on using leverage. Um, next is Burns1327. Burn is a karate master. He is a black belt, it looks like, with a lot of stripes on it. So that might be like a double red dragon belt or something. I don't know, but it, is that it might be? I don't know if that's karate. It might be jujitsu or something. I'm not sure. I can't. I can't tell what that says in the back. But careful, cause if y'all try to hack anybody, burns. I'm gonna send burns on you guys, and he is gonna kick your ass. So don't mess with me, guys. Uh, burns says, if I, if I was a first time investor to crypto. Would you suggest Bitcoin or Ethereum? So if you're if you're first entering the market, I would definitely I always recommend Bitcoin uh, as your first one since it's the main pog on, on in this thing. It's the the main asset behind you know in this industry in this uh, space, right? Um, so I definitely recommend building your the foundation of your crypto portfolio around Bitcoin, and then uh after you know you have between 30 to 50 percent of your crypto portfolio in bitcoin then you can go out into into altcoins like ethereum uh because i do believe ethereum also can uh is, is a great investment as well so um so i would do that i would i would try to put my portfolio 30 to 50 percent into bitcoin and then go out into ethereum or and into whatever else you you're interested in um, so thank you for the question Burns I hope I was able to answer it um, and you know if you have any other questions though leave it leave it in the comment man and I'll and I'll answer um, Ferrer 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 Thomas Ferrer Tomas Ferrer Tomas I don't know how to say that that first part Ferrer Ferre, Ferrer Ferrer Tomas I'm not sure but uh, Tomas is over here. I'm not sure which one you are. Are you the one in the hoodie, or the one uh, with something in your mouth? Can't tell <laughs> what you got in your mouth there. But uh, anyways, uh, opinion on ETH on Ethereum. Um, so I kind of went over this already it, on Ethereum. We we spoke about it. Um, you know, it's currently a, a in a kind of a bear flag. Um pattern right now but it's attempting to break out of it so uh so it's a good investment this is a, a good dip to buy but like like i said don't just put 
don't don't invest in a lump sum just average yourself in so this is a good time to buy put buy a little bit of your position there then if it goes lower you buy a little bit more if it goes lower buy a little bit more because eventually it's going to go back up so you just want to average your your uh your buys in there but uh but yeah man ethereum is a good um investment i i like ethereum thank you for your question domas um lazy freak lazy freak uh we 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 actually you were in last week's uh you were featured in last week's uh video uh over here with his uh freak uh it says how to daily trade when you don't know where the market is heading so um i mean nobody ever knows what, where the market is heading you know uh you just have to be you have to create a plan and just follow your plan so and you have to be prepared for any scenario so you have to know what to do in your plan you have to know what to do if it goes against you or if it goes for you so you want to have a plan in both directions so you want to know if you're if it's going against you you want to know exactly where you're going to stop out and and where you're cutting your losses um and if it's going for you you know exactly where you're going to be taking profits um so so yeah it's it's nobody ever really knows where the market's going if anyone tells you they know where the market's going they're lying um it's just uh if you're trading um you need to have a plan that's what it all comes down to and then you need to stick to your plan that's usually the hardest that is the most difficult part for people to stick to the plan um, and that all has to do with discipline um, and that's something that you learn through experience but uh, yeah that's what I that's what I, I would say you just got to create your plan and you got to stick to your plan man um, and have have um, have a plan for both scenarios regardless which way it goes uh, thank you for your, your your question again lazy freak man appreciate you um, Vlad Vlad Apostle Vlad Apostle, Vlad Apostle. I know I see you uh, in the comments section a lot, man. I appreciate you. Uh, we we always love to have uh, to see the same people over and over in our comments. That shows uh, great support, man. It keeps us going. Uh, Vlad, look look at this this dude, man. You are one handsome guy, bro. In your suit and stuff. Okay, I see you. Um, Vlad says the video about BitMEX on how to trade was very helpful. Are you going to make one for Bybit too? Yes, we are definitely working on a Bybit uh, tutorial. Bybit tutorial. Um, so we will be showing you the whole process of how to uh, make a deposit and how to trade on it and all of that fun stuff. Uh, we will have that soon. Um, because we have been switching over to Bybit to, uh, for uh, trading with uh, leverage um, because uh, BitMEX is now requiring a KYC so we will no longer be able to use a VPN to use BitMEX so we are switching over to Bybit alright thank you Vlad for your question thank you for your support man I appreciate you alright let's go to the next one Ragi Raji Raji, Raji, Ragi, Raji, Raji, Raji. I try to say the names in different, different ways to see which one makes sense in my head. Um, but Ragi Horner, um, thank you so much for your question. You look like if this is you, you look like you're a trader because I see all these, uh, all these charts back here. What are you, what are you doing there? What do you do, Raji? Um, she says, what are the uh, chances of Bitcoin crossing twelve thousand dollars this year okay um, so the chances of it so we've gone to twelve thousand twice now um, in the last in in the last year uh, we did it last year and then we're at it again this year um, I mean we just we have to break out through it <laughs> like like we've been rejected so many times at 12k now um, it's a very very strong resistance you can see here one two got rejected here th three four five um, so we've been rejected a lot um, so this has become a very very strong resistance um, and as you see here if you look back to last year we had the same thing uh, so I mean I don't know what the chances are I wish I, I had an answer for that but um, you know we just we got to get back up there we have to we need we need enough uh, volume 
bullish volume to get past that and then we to sustain that um, but the thing is right now there's a lot of sellers at 12k and there's a lot of sell orders there people are just kind of waiting there now because a lot of people probably bought around here at the 12k range um, and beyond so there's a lot of bag holders right now at 12k so we're just gonna need people to believe and to not sell when they get to 12k um, and for more people to buy so that we could break through so I mean I don't, I don't know what the chances are um, but uh, we still got a few months in the year uh, we might be able to do it let's see what happens thank you again for your question man I appreciate it um, Skylark 12.28 all right Skylark look at Skylark over here taking some modeling photos okay I see this pose he got some nice white tight white tight pants on black shirt some sort of black shirt there looking like a model I see you okay Skylark says uh, best site to invest Bitcoin so this all depends on where you're located what country you're in um, different countries have different laws they have different apps you can use different places you can buy um, so it all it all depends since I'm only in the US I can only tell you from my point of view from my perspective and my experience uh, there's a lot of apps where you can for us in the US where we can buy Bitcoin so we use like uh, coinbase there's um, Gemini there's cash app um, what else uh, there's a uh, what's it called Robinhood um, but Robinhood is not you're not really you don't really own the Bitcoin if you buy it there um, yeah there's a there's a lot of ways to buy it there's also ATMs uh, if you have ATMs in your country um, there's a website called Bitcoin locals or something like that Bitcoin local bitcoins something like that where you can buy so you just Google that I think it's called local bitcoins or local or Bitcoin locals something like that uh, I do recommend you watching our video um, on the top 10 Bitcoin questions because we go over all of those so that's a previous video we did about a week or two ago uh, it's called top 10 uh, Bitcoin questions answered and we give a, a more in-depth answer there uh, so I recommend you watching that uh, Skylark thank you for your question man appreciate it Pablo Escobar I mean Pablo plus plus pole Pablo bless boat bless pole Pablo bless pole uh, Pablo my bad if I bitch butchered that uh, last name I'm gonna just call you Pablo Escobar just way easier for me to say and it sounds way cooler um, Pablo what in the world are you even doing man you're looking like is, is this Argentina this looks like an Argentina fa flag it's at least Argentina colors um, you're standing on top of I don't know what it looks like you're standing on top of the world my guy damn take me with you dude um, he says Pablo Escobar says which is the best tr uh, platform for trading online um, again this this all goes down to, to you know depends where you are depends what you're trying to do uh, it's all situational so for me personally I use uh, Bybit I have a link below if you guys want to sign up for Bybit um, they offer uh, I think they give you like a hundred like I think they have like a fifty dollars or sixty something like that uh, deposit bonus if you guys deposit a certain amount of Bitcoin um, to start trading um, and I use Bybit because I like to trade with leverage like like I said earlier in the video um, but there's a lot of different exchanges I recommend you watching the same video I just said top 10 Bitcoin questions answered I talk more in depth about different trading exchanges and which ones uh, what options you have so thank you Pablo Escobar appreciate you man thank you for the question uh, Santanu, Sat or Satanu, Santan, Santanu, Chak Rabordi. Oh my goodness, bro! What? What? I can't say this. Santanu, Chak Chak Rabordi. Um, Santanu. Look at Santanu over here. Looking, you also, bro. You guys are all looking like models, man. I don't have no modeling pictures like this, bro. You guys are all like so serious and like professional looking high quality photos um, I didn't know I had so many good-looking followers man 
Uh, he says best trick for short-term profits in leverage trading. Uh, there's really no tricks, man. Uh, just make your plan. Uh, I I use for me I use price action uh, and support and resistance. Uh, make a plan, stick to the plan, and just be disciplined and uh, and just keep doing that. Uh, look for an edge, and and keep using that edge to to you know it's a long-term play, so it's okay if 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 you lose a few trades in a week or whatever uh don't worry about the small losses you want small losses because eventually one of those are going to hit and it's going to be a big win which covers all those small losses so don't worry about the small losses man uh just keep taking them um and uh one of them are going to hit just make your plan stick to your plan that's that's uh the best thing i could tell you thank you San santan set santanu i bro i have such a <laughs> hard time saying your name sorry if i butchered it man um next one M milad milad mohammed milad mohammedi milad mohammedi milad mohammedi i think that's what it says um look at milad you where are you man with these cool sunglasses i, I can't tell where you are dude but that looks like a cool spot um he says what is the best indicator for technical analysis in your point of view and how do you check its signals validity um again this is a question that, that would take ample time to go over to answer um but uh there to answer it as quickly as possible there is no best technic uh, technical indicator for technical analysis um there's no such thing um you know you'll never find a best technical indicator most indicators just tell you what's going what's happened in the past um, and and what's currently happening in, in the moment so the best indicator to know what's happening in the moment um, is price action which is just looking at the price what the price is doing looking at candles reading the candles seeing looking for patterns um, that's that's the one I prefer to use and then you and then uh, use some support and resistance levels to help you get an edge on where to where to enter and exit your trades um use moving averages for the same thing um you can use rsi for momentum to see where the which which way the momentum is the macd um there's a lot of different things you can use man but uh but yeah best thing is price action man that's that's uh best thing i could tell you no indicators it will ever tell you the future um it's it's all it all tells you the past so uh there's no best indicator it's just you know your preference personal preference on how you like to trade and what works best for you all right so many different traders trade many different ways guys thank you for your question though man milad um oju ojuku ojuku frank all right i'm gonna just call you frank bro oh uh, frank frank is out here living it up i see you over here chilling you look like you chilling man okay uh, he says how can how I can analyze chart and make ten dollars weekly um, so ten dollars weekly I mean it's not a hard thing to do um, but uh, I would say if you want to learn how to analyze a chart watch our uh, tutorial our trading tutorials um, we have a uh, playlist where we have posted all our trading tutorials I would recommend watching that that'll help you learn how to analyze charts how to do a top-down analysis how to look for entries how to set up your trade plan and all of that man so that's what I, I would recommend for you dude uh, thank you Frank man appreciate the question I'm trying to move it faster man cuz we're 30 minutes in dude I, I know you guys don't like these super long videos but we have a lot of questions uh, Dave Francis 5277 uh, says uh, it's out here nice beard is that a beard you got there yeah, nice beard, dude. With some cool glasses with his girl. Parted hairstyle. Okay. He says, how do you get into your trading group or Telegram group? Um, it's very simple, man. On Bitcoin.daily on Instagram, we have a link that you can click and you can sign up. Uh, once you sign up, um, you'll get an email. Once you get the email, it'll have a activation code with a link to enter the group. You just enter the group. We have a bot in the group. You send the activation code to the bot. Boom, you're done. It's all done. So uh, it's very simple. 
very easy to get into the group also in this video in the description we have a link that you can join the group as well thank you for your uh, question Dave appreciate you all right Allah IBN Aj Aj I, I don't know I'm gonna just call you Allah <laughs> uh, Allah is over here with some hearts over here nice glasses looking all pretty I see you looking good looking good all right Allah says any thoughts about SXP I'm drawing I bought way too early I'm get I'm guessing you meant to say I'm drowning maybe I don't know um, but SXP let's take a look at it let's see SXP just gonna look at this one so so the, see the thing with these here that I don't like uh, there's no history you know what I mean so I really can't tell you where to look to enter because there's no history now from the very limited history that I have um, I can tell you that the dollar fifty area is a decent area the dollar sixty looks like dollar sixty and dollar fifty is a good uh, support here so if you notice this right here right and you look at here it's bouncing off there so it looks like it's uh, respecting these levels um, so this might be a good entry for this now at a dollar sixty dollar you know under two dollars um, because we could bounce back up and it could continue up you know where, where it was going so yeah so whenever you see something like this man do not buy this this right here do not buy because this is usually what follows so you usually want to wait for this dip to buy so what I would have done if I was looking to buy I would have waited on this dip once I saw consolidation or once I saw a dip then I would have probably bought then if it would have continued down I would have stopped out there um, so I would have had a very minimal loss um, but yeah um, I would hold on for now if you're still in it I don't know what you bought but if you're still in it right now you're at the support so as long as the support holds you're fine if you drop under 150 then I'd start thinking about getting out but guys this all goes right back to what I always tell you guys have a plan anytime you enter a trade you need a plan and guess what guys that is it that is all we are done guys we answered all the questions Whew. 36 37 minutes oh man I can't I can tell you I am tired that was a lot of questions I think we did 18 questions um, so let's do the question a day I didn't do one yesterday let's jump into one now question of the day remember guys every video we will have a random question about something in the video the question will always be in a random area of the video find the question and find the answer post your answer in the comments for a chance to win a free month membership to our trading room winners will be picked randomly once the video receives over 30 likes good luck guys we need to hit over 30 likes if we don't hit over 30 likes I can't do the quite I can't do a giveaway so make sure to smash smash that trade button guys let's get up there all right so let's jump to the question of the day and there's no question guys <laughs> um, I'm gonna think of one right now what did we talk about let's look at the questions you guys asked uh, all right I got one what is my favorite altcoin for long term and why that's it question of the day guys answer it put your comment leave your comment below make sure to like the video because we need 30 likes so make sure to like it uh, make sure you're following us make sure to share our video and uh, that's basically it guys I'm not gonna take up any more of your time Thank you guys for sending in all the questions. Uh, we are out of here. Peace and love.